This video demonstration is brought to you by Heart Internet, the UK's number one reseller hosting company. Hey, this is Ben from Heart Internet, and welcome to part two in the tutorial series on how to customize your host pay template. Now the first episode gave you an overview of switching between different templates, distinguishing CSS properties using Firebug, and also how to edit and swap in your company logo. Now in this episode, I'll continue where I left off and show you how to completely change the colors of the default theme template from the classic blue to a more vibrant orange. Okay, let's get started. If I open my graphics package, you'll notice I've created a color scheme. I will then use this scheme to help me transform the look of the existing template. Now I would definitely recommend you do the same. Now if you're having troubles creating a scheme yourself, then you should check out Adobe's free online tool, which is Kula, K-U-L-E-R, adobe.com and you'll find plenty of inspiration and also the tools to make your very own. Now once you have your desired color palette, the next step would be to decide what colors are going to be used for what template elements. To do this, I would tend to print screen the current template and paste it into your graphics package. Like so, and then you can simply save it just in case anything should happen. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna go and bring across the color scheme. Like so. Bring that into view. Now the next step is to drag each color to the corresponding element that you wish to change. This will serve as a visual guide and act as a point of reference allowing you to quickly look up the color hex values. Now this is extremely helpful when it comes to altering the CSS. Okay, so I'm going to start to drag the colors to the elements I wish to change. Um, we'll go for a darker one at the top. Middle for the search. And then for the button colors, they look dark, so we'll just add these darker colors. like so. Now if I go to the live template, you'll notice that the colors are using a gradient as opposed to a solid color. Now I would also like to achieve this effect, so I'm going to create my very own gradient backgrounds using my graphics package and then simply replace these existing images. Okay, so if I go back to the graphics package and I'm going to create a gradient on this left side box. First I need to stretch it the full height of the, uh, the left box itself and then I'm going to need to apply a linear gradient. Fill options, gradient, there we are. A linear has been applied. Now that's not looking that nice as it's gone from orange to white and I'd much prefer a more of a orange to a lighter orange fade. To do this, I'll just open the colors again. Now I'm going to pick the same color as the bottom one, then click on the top gradient and then just lighten it a few shades. This should give a much more smoother effect, like so. Next, I'm going to need to know what dimensions and what format this gradient needs to be in. Now, I highly recommend using Firebug to inspect elements on a web page. This will tell me the properties and the location of the gradient image. Okay, so if I pop open Firebug, and then if I click on the, um, the left box that we wanted to change, like so, we'll see it's actually an Li, and the properties given are on the right here. Now the background image is given that color there, and then the location of the gradient image is in theme images slash background promo one dot PNG. So now we have the location, we simply need to open up in our graphics package. Theme images, and then BG promo one. There we are. Now the info given on this image is saying that the width is five pixels, and the height of this image is 274 pixels. So we need to recreate our new gradient image to these exact same specifications. So now we know the image dimensions we need, we need to go back and uh, copy and paste the gradient that we made for our new color scheme into this canvas. Now I'm doing this because this canvas size is already set up to the dimensions that we need. We'll now need to export the image and give it the same file name and save it in the same location as the original, which was a PNG. I'll do 32 as it gives the best quality um, export and save it in host pay, theme images, and call it BG Promo 1. 
overwrite any existing files. And now you're ready to upload. Open up your FTP program and simply drag across the new image we just exported, which is BG Promo 1, into the theme images folder on your remote site. Now if we go back to the website, refresh the page, and now you'll see the left box has been replaced with our new orange gradient. Okay, what you'll notice is the box isn't completely orange as there's still a line of blue remaining at the top. Now this has happened because the gradient image background we created isn't actually long enough to completely fill the box. So what we now need to do is change the background color of the box to match the top color of the gradient so it blends seamlessly. Now to get the color, we need to go back to your graphics package, click on the gradient image, and then its color properties, click on the lightest color, which is the top one, and then you'll get the hex color value there. Copy that to your clipboard. Now you need to open up your CSS editor and locate the file which is theme.css, which is normally located in the root of your host pane installation. You'll then need to locate the name of the gradient, which was bg underscore promo1.png. And once you've found that, you'll simply need to replace the background color associated with this property, like so. Save that, and then simply upload to your website. Upload that to the root, like so. Overwrite any existing files. And then refresh the page. The next step to customize this box would be to change the actual bullet images themselves. If I open Firebug, and if I then hover over one of the bullet images within the list, I'll get the properties that it's located in the theme-images folder and it's called bullet.png. Its dimensions are 3 pixels by 5 pixels high. So now I know the dimensions I need, I'm going to go to my graphics package and I'm going to create my very own bullet. It was 3 pixels by 5. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see it a bit better. I mean, you can create any style of bullet you wish or you can remove it entirely by removing that line um, which referenced the, the bullets from the CSS file. So my, the colour of my bullet will be the lightest colour from my palette, which is this yellow here. I'm just going to copy the hex value to my clipboard. Select my pencil tool and just paste in that colour here. Okay, I'm now going to draw my bullet. It's really easy. And that's all there is to it. I'm now going to export it with a transparent background. If I zoom in, then let's pick the colour white. Okay, so I've now created a transparent bullet. I need to export it and save it as the same name as the original, which was theme images bullet.png. And I'll save that in the theme images folder. Overwrite the existing one, then simply upload that to your server. Once it's been uploaded, go to your page and just simply refresh and you'll see the changes have been made. There we are, the bullets have now turned to yellow. Okay, so the next step is to show you how to change the order now and more info buttons located within the new orange box. Once again, open Firebug. Click on the elements. And you'll notice it's in UL promo box A, A meaning link, and the background is located there. So we need to find this property in our CSS style sheet and simply make the changes. But before we do that, we need to know what we're actually going to be changing it to. So to do this, we need to go back to our graphics package, select the darkest color you have from your palette, copy the hex color value to the clipboard, then find the UL promo box A within your style sheet, which is just here, change the background color. You'll also want to do the same for the hover color as well. So select the second darkest colour, repeat the process of copying the hex value, and paste that in. Save that, 
then I'll have the style sheet to your server like so close firebug refresh the page and there you go the buttons have changed to a much more darker orange color Okay, well that concludes part two of how to customize your host pay template. Now in the third and final part of this series, I'll be finishing off the customization of the template itself, and this will include things like changing link colors, heading styles, and also styling the control panel. Many thanks for watching.